Hi everyone, it's Melissa, owner of Jacksonville Business Connections with another live local interview from Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, our main mission with the Jacksonville Business Connections community is connect business to the local community through local events that we host and other various marketing strategies. And today I have with me Nick Cantrell and he is the owner of Cocktails and More. It's a mobile bartending service and they're located here in Jacksonville, Florida and we are so excited to have him here with us today and he's also going to be a part of our bride to be and wedding expo that is this Sunday at the World Golf Hall of Fame from 11 to 2 so if you want to come out and visit us uh, I'll be there and Nick will be there uh, sharing more about our businesses thank you so much Nick for joining me today thank you thank you for having us oh yeah absolutely so let's just jump right in and share with everybody um how you started your business and a little bit more about it. Great. So we uh, launched in April of 2020. I know that sounds kind of crazy. It was right in the beginning of the pandemic. Um, but I've always had a love for bartending and figured why not be able to do it and do it on my own terms. So I've always worked in bars and nightclubs, restaurants, sporting arenas. And this was an opportunity for me to be able to do it on my own terms, as I said, at weddings and really be able to cater to our client and do what they want us to do. So. We were sitting at home one night and said, hey, let's do it. Came up with a name kind of on the fly, um, <laughs> uh, you know, kind of catchy. And it's the cocktails and more because eventually our goal is to be able to do more than just bartending. So, no, I love that. That's a great idea. And just so our audience know what type of um, events can they hire you for? What type of events do you like to do? Yeah, so we are available for anything. We've done birthday parties. We've done bachelorette parties. We've done brunch. Obviously, we do weddings. Um, we're really available for any type of party that Smey would need a bartender for. We did a retirement party this year. Um, the only thing we have not done yet is a celebration of life. But other than that, we've done just about every event from as small as about 15 to 20 people. I uh, did a casino party just a couple weeks ago. Um, it was about 20 people, and we've done weddings as large as about 200 people. So really, any event that somebody wants a bartender um, or bartending services, we will definitely come out and take care of that. Oh, awesome. And then when it's the you know mobile aspect of it, explain to everybody who might be thinking like, well, what's all included with the mobile option here? Yeah, absolutely. So with the mobile option, that means we come to you and we can do everything from strictly bartending services, which is how we started, where we were only providing the bartender to now we're able to provide satellite bars. So we have three different bars available. If your venue or your space does not have a designated bar area, or maybe it's a large wedding or a large event and you want more than one bar serving area. Um, we also do all the mixers, the, the sodas and the uh, cranberry juice and stuff like that. The garnishes are available. Um, and we also do cocktail consultations. We work with you to create your drink menu for your event. Um, you know, Especially with a lot of the weddings, there's like a, a bride drink and a groom drinks so will work and create like a themed menu to go with the event. So it is literally everything that we bring to you. Um, we even have the ability now just as recent to be able to help provide the alcohol for the event. So, oh, okay. you know, we can literally show up with everything, including the ice and the cups and the napkins and the fruit. And then we leave and take everything with us, but we leave your alcohol with you. Oh, nice. I like that idea. And then also I see that if anybody is interested, um, I posted the link to your website and Facebook if they wanna go look up more information. But uh, I'd be curious to know like what what would be one of the most funny stories from being a mobile bartender <laughs> or any of you the know, events it, recently you've done? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you the, the casino party that we did a couple weeks ago was a lot of fun. It was a private party um, out in Ponte Vedra and the host had casino tables out there um, and it was just close friends and family, but it was a really cool event. But what I like most is the weddings because there's so many different traditions and we're there for the reception. So we get to see all the dances and we get to see all the food and, you know, all the different traditions that go with each wedding. Because as we tell our clients, no wedding or no event is the same, which is why we don't have a base price for every event, because it really depends on what you want for your event. So I would say the casino party has probably been the most fun. Um, but we really like to do weddings because they're just so diverse and so different with each each one that we do. Yeah, that makes complete sense. What a, what has been the most unusual drink request that you've had? 
Um, you know, it, there've been a lot of common drinks. We do have the ability with our, on our website to do, we have uh, signature cocktails that we recommend. Um, so there's some that have th time in them. There's some that, you know, have like the Paloma with the grapefruit juice and the tequila. Um, so we haven't really had anything too off the wall. Uh, when we did the casino party a couple weeks ago, we did the uh, Royal Flush, which is crown and cranberry juice and peach schnapps. So that was kind of our theme drink. Um, you know, every now and then you'll get the person who might want like a martini, but they don't want any, you know, vermouth in it or they just want one olive. So it's, you know, a dirty martini, but it's not too dirty because they literally just want <laughs> one olive. Um, but that's what we love about it is that we can literally do whatever our client wants us to do. As to where most restaurants and bars, it's kind of standard. This is where our drink comes with. We're able to do whatever uh, you like to do. We also do mocktails, so they're alcohol free. That way, if you have somebody who's not uh, drinking, but they want to kind of fit in, so to speak. Um, and we just recently started offering mixology classes. So oh, it's nice. a great team building where we'll come out, you know, a group of 10 to 15 people, walk through the steps of how to make certain cocktails. Um, that's something that we just released. And that information is also on our website. Oh, yeah. Is there anything, you know, that that's such a great idea to have the um, the classes. Is there any other type of services you're offering? Um, right now, that's what we're uh, that's all we have to offer. We are working on some additional things like wedding invitations and some things for the, you know, the um, save the dates and bachelorette parties and things like that. We're doing a little some small things there. Um, but right now, our main focus is on the bartending services. OK. And if someone was planning an event, um, how far in advance should they be booking you and looking into your services? The biggest thing is, you know, book us as soon as you know the date, because we are starting to fill up for 2022 and we're already starting to book into 2023 um, with weddings in particular. You know, they're normally 12 to 18 months out. So, um, you know, we just require a deposit to save the date. Uh, but we've done events literally was booked on a wednesday and did the event saturday night so oh, wow. but the earlier and the sooner you book us the better because it reserves your date and make sure that i have bartenders available for your event right absolutely and i'm sure that makes it a little easier for you with the planning time <laughs> it does absolutely and also, you know, it also makes it easier too on our client because we can do payment arrangements you know they're not having to pay everything up front unless they want to they can but it allows us to help them work with their budget because we work with clients of all budgets so you know, we don't, you know, there's no, um, no set pricing. As I said earlier, we like to work with everybody and make sure that it's comfortable for them and make sure that we, our goal is to bring that service to their event. And you did say that you can bring the, the alcohol. That is correct. Yeah. So we've actually partnered with ABC here locally where we work with the client and ABC to do the purchasing of the alcohol. We will go pick it up. We will bring it to the event. We will obviously serve it. And then any unopened alcohol we can actually take back. So it's really that convenience factor, you know, to not have to worry about that on the day of your event for, you know, we book it. We meet quite a bit in between when we book the event leading up to the day of, um, you know, my phone's always available and by email. And I've met with some clients once or twice. And I've met with other clients five or six times in between their booking and their event. So. Right. That makes complete sense. And then I know I was like thinking it's been a quite a few years that I've been having the thought of having something similar to what you're doing at some of our community events just for the people that do like maybe just have it as strictly beer, but they can go get like a beer or something. And um, I've really struggled to find anybody that wants to come in and, and kind of own that piece of it. But maybe we can we can chat sometime. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, that's one thing we haven't done yet is a community event. Um, we've done one out in the St. Augustine area for a housing uh, community. But as far as doing an open community event, we have not done that yet. Um, we would like the opportunity. So that's definitely something we can look at. Um, it'd be a great option. Yeah, yeah definitely. We'll, we'll talk offline. But that's this is probably the opportunity that I've been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody to do it for you. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. I don't want the uh, the involvement, but I would love to offer it to um, some of the, you know, the people that come to the event, especially like when we're partnering at the car show or something. I think that mm -hmm. would be nice to have that little bit of extra option. And <laughs> <laughs> But is there anything that maybe I didn't touch on that you still would like to share with our audience? 
Uh, one really neat thing that we just added recently to our website is our clients are able to get a quote online. So they can go online, fill out the information, and ask them details about their event, how many people, and then they can actually go through with our uh, web-based application and see a little shopping cart on the right-hand side. And they can see everything down to the penny, what they're getting, what they're paying for. And then, of course, we jump on the phone with them and say, okay, let's see, you might need this. You should probably get this many bartenders. You know, Do you have a satellite bar? Or do they have a bar space available? But it really makes it easy for our clients to be able to jump online and get that instant quote right away. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's really a unique option. Um, anything that's not online these days, I, I feel it's archaic, but I'm really yeah, glad yeah. You, you're you offering that. And um, we do have, well, there's someone posting on Facebook and they said, so far when you bring alcohol, how does that work with pricing? So the way it works with us, because the state of Florida is a little kind of weird with the liquor licensing, um, you actually pay the same price for the liquor that you would if you walked into ABC. The only thing that we're doing is helping you coordinate that and picking up the liquor and the alcohol and bringing it to you instead of you going to the store to get it. So obviously the option is there. You know, we, we've had some clients like to go on on the base to the exchange. They like to go to Sam's or Costco and get a little bit more liquor for a better price. So that option is definitely there too. Um, but since it is your liquor and your alcohol that you're buying, that's why we leave all the open or unopened if you brought it to the event um, there with you. We don't take anything with us unless you partner with us in ABC. Okay, that's perfect. That Hopefully that answered the, um, that person's question. And uh, thank you so much for, for joining us. And I, I hope that um, you get some inquiries and I'm excited to see you on Sunday and hope we have a good turnout. Thank you so much. We're excited to see you too. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.